Hello, I'm Nina Hossein. Hundreds of cyclists campaigning to make the streets safer are protesting on the South Bank tonight. The protest comes on the day MPs are debating the issue of bike safety. In a moment, we'll be live at that demonstration. But first, Luke Hanrahan assesses what has already been done and whether it's working. Hey! Cycle cameras capture a multitude of sins. Drivers not concentrating properly and deliberately threatening cyclists. It's not just drivers who flaunt the rules, but last year more than 4,500 cyclists were injured on London's roads. This year already six people have died. John Hartley was so nearly another death. In July he was knocked off his bike at Hoban Circus following a collision with a 4x4. The next thing you knew I was lying in the, in the road, uh, my bike sort of over there and uh, just really in sincere agony. For John, who cycled in London all his life, a change to the layout and infrastructure of roads is a necessity. I think uh, there was a big improvement when the congestion charge came in, a big increase in the number of cyclists and a big reduction in traffic. Um, however, I feel that some of the improvements that are being put in, like this silly blue paint on the roads, is actually uh, made it almost worse uh, because it gives cyclists a full sense of security. Here in Camden, there's a partition between the road and cyclists, and it's infrastructure like this that campaigners want to see more of. The only trouble is, this small stretch of road costs £60,000. And it might look like 400 metres of urban cycling paradise, but is that the reality? It's OK, but it's, you know, it's not a great improvement. And back there, we get taken right through the middle of a bus stop, you know, where people have to walk through us to get on the bus. So I don't think it works very well. London cycling campaigners want better road design to keep cars and bikes separate, more motor traffic free routes and cycle specific traffic lights. And to pay for it, they want increased public spending on cycling to £20 for each person in London. Today there's a Commons debate responding to a cross-party government report which calls for better safety on London's roads and says there needs to be a fundamental cultural shift in how we think about travel. One of the things we looked at particularly was road safety at junctions, was about removing um, barriers on, on the sides of roads so cyclists don't get caught between lorries, looking at lorry safety and making sure that there's a general more bike awareness. Speed limit's really, really key. My neighbouring borough of Islington's introduced 20 miles an hour and we think that's a really good model for around uh, London. The goal is to make streets safer, to stop accidents that all too often have fatal consequences. The big question is how to make that a reality. Well, as MPs debate these cycling proposals, let's take you live to that protest along the river from Parliament at Jubilee Gardens, where Luke is now. Luke. Yes, as you can see, there are hundreds of people along Belvedere Road here in the centre of London. They've come for the third protest of the London cycling campaign this year. They're doing it to coincide with a big parliament debate that's ongoing right now. Joining me is Debbie Dawling, whose husband um, passed away. He died under the wheels of an HGV two years ago. Just explain what happened to your husband, Brian. Um, he was cycling to work as usual and um, went across the Bow Roundabout and unfortunately the the lorry turned left into him and um, killed him instantly. Now you've taken the unusual step to forgive the, the lorry driver. Why is that? Do you have sympathy with HGV drivers? I have sympathy with this man because um, the, the road layout put both him and Brian in, the, in that position. Um, I don't necessarily forgive the people that did the road layout, but uh, I think that he's just as much as a victim as, as Brian was. So what is it that you, you think needs to change to stop this type of thing happening? Um, I think that HGVs, particularly construction lorries, um, they should um, not be in central London during peak, peak periods. They should all have safety scanners on them. And I think also, you know, priorities need to change to allow cyclists, um, you know, a better provision. And when you look at countries like Holland, um, they have clear distinctions between the road and the cycle path. Do you think that's something that needs to be introduced here? Absolutely. I think segregation of um, cyclists from, from huge vehicles like lorries and buses has to, be, has to happen. Um, and also the priority whereby if a, if a, a, a motorised vehicle hits a, a bike, it shouldn't always be the cyclist's fault as it is at the moment. Um, 
Um, but when you look at um, the city today, compare it to Amsterdam, there are big differences, aren't there? It's not just the drivers that are to blame quite often, it's the cyclists too. And in London, you see that, they weave in and out of the traffic and often jump red lights too. Yes, they do, unfortunately, and um, th they need um, education as much as the, the motorised traffic needs education. And uh, unfortunately, everybody has to respect each other, um, and that doesn't always happen on our streets. So, Debbie, if there was one thing that you wanted to see change, what would that be? I think it would be to try and segregate cyclists from um, cars and buses and lorries, um, because that's the only way you're going to keep them safe, in my opinion, anyway. So. Um, so there you have it. Um, this is going on now. They're just about to set off. They'll be, um, they'll be travelling around London. It's about a two-mile route, and they're hoping that the politicians start to listen to take action to improve the situation for Londoners. Back to you. All right, Luke, and we may uh, return to that protest, that demonstration, as it develops this evening. Luke Hanrahan, thanks. OK, back now to our main story in the cycling protest taking place right now in central London. Luke Hanrahan is at the start at Jubilee Gardens. Luke. In the last 20 minutes, um, dozens of cycling groups have turned up from all over London. That There are probably about uh, 1,000 to 2,000 people here. Um, they're here to try and get the message across that they want to improve cycling safety in this city. There's a debate going on right now in the Houses of Parliament. Charlie Lloyd is one of the, the leaders of this campaign. What do you want to see change, Charlie? What we want is we're asking for space for cycling so that when they build roads and when they change roads, they build in safe space to make it inviting for people to choose to ride by bike. The reason for that, it reduces the conflict so there's fewer conflicts with lorries, with cars and fewer conflicts with pedestrians when everyone has enough space to move freely. So um, they're, they're going off, they're setting off in about five minutes' time. They'll be travelling around central London. So if you struggle to get through the city tonight, you'll know why.